Talking about women, money, and marriage, many women give up the financial duties to their husband, potentially leaving themselves vulnerable. Joining us to talk about this important topic is Dr. Patty Ann Toblin. It's always great to have you with us. Good morning. Congratulations on the show. Oh, thank you. It's a great show, isn't it's it? Fabulous. All right, let's talk about what you're, you're here to talk to us about. Why is it that women give that up, that financial duty to men? Is that just inherent? What is it? Well, what ha it's really the way that we're raised and culture and society and little girls are raised that they'll grow up, they'll get married, and then, you know, Prince Charming will take care of everything, and that may or may not work out. So what I found so interesting in my work with individual and couple women and also my corporate work with very successful career women is that as soon as they put a ring on their finger, they just abdicate their financial security. It this is even with mind. women who are career women, Absolutely. professional women. Either, it, it's across the board, stay-at-home women, career women, very successful career women. All of a sudden, they just abdicate their financial security. They have no idea what's in the bank. Which is not a good thing, as you said, because it leaves us all vulnerable. It it makes us vulnerable and what happens is we can be one divorce, one death, one job loss, one medical catastrophe away from financial ruin. And you don't want to wait when you're in a crisis to figure out, oh my gosh, what's mm -hmm. my financial situation? That happens to many of us. All right, let's, you have four points. Let's go to the first one. You say to really educate yourself financially. Okay. What women need to do is they need to become financially literate. That does not mean that they have to learn how to become a certified financial planner, but they need to have a sense of what their financial investment landscape looks like just so that they're informed. Very, very important. So be familiar with what? Well, the statements in terms of do they have a 401k or do they... How, how much, to read the 401 k How to read it, just to have a sense of how much money is coming in, how much money is going out, what are your family financial goals? When do you want to retire? Do you want to put your children through private school? Do you want to educate your children in college? It sounds like a discussion that, that couples need to be uh, making before they even get married. Before they even put the ring on the finger. All yes. right. All right. There you go. <laughs> okay. The, other, the next one is that you insist that women have access to these statements. Okay, so what happens is, and in fairness, lots of times in a marriage there's a division of labor, right? Absolutely. You can't do everything, you divide and conquer. I absolutely agree with that. However, if your partner, your spouse does not allow you access to the financial statements, either they get mailed to their office or you don't have the password if the statements are online, that's a red flag. Not that you need to be checking it all the time, but you should be able to have access so that at any given moment you can check to see what the financial number is. If there's a negative at the bottom of the statement as opposed to a positive, you don't need to be a cert certified financial planner to know that's a problem. All right, the third point you say is reevaluate you, your financial goals and situation as your life evolves, but also you say do not be a passive observer. Exactly, and that goes along, the two of them are tied in together. Every five to ten years, our lives change. What works for us financially and our financial goals when we're single will change when we're married, mm -hmm. and it will change when we have children. Okay, so be an up, uh, don't be a passive observer, be active, be a part of the conversation with your partner so that you're financially astute, so you're not left blindsided. Thank you, Dr. Thomas. <laughs> it's great to have you with us.